everyone, I hope you're well. We are joined by Katie again for today's video, which is incredibly exciting. If you didn't watch our last one that we filmed together, Katie is part of our academic team here at Open City College. Um, so she is just basically a bundle of knowledge all about all our courses. Um, and we actually filmed a video a few weeks ago um, where we talked about our access to HE Public Services Diploma. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about our other access to higher education diploma, which is our Access to HE Diploma in Health. It's a bit of a mouthful, um, but basically you're going to be talking about the health version in this video. So if you don't know what an Access to Higher Education Diploma is, in our last video, Katie explains everything about what it is, what kind of level it is, who's it, who it's for, like where it, where it takes you as a pathway. Um, so I'll link that last video down below that we did and you can go and watch that and find out all about um, what they are. Um, but in this video, we're going to just jump straight into what the modules are in the health diploma, um, kind of what the students will learn and what you'll work through on the two year course. So over to Katie really. So as we said in the last video, there's nine units in total for the Access to HU Diplomas, um, four of which are ungraded and five are graded. So the four we went over last time are going to be exactly the same for your health diploma, but I will just go over them again just to remind everyone. So the first one is researching opportunities in higher education. So this is looking at different progression routes into higher education. This is looking at the opportunities available to you, your skill set, ways in which you learn specifically. It's looking at the importance of work experience and how that might aid you in getting onto a degree course mm -hmm. or going into work. It's really important to put your skills into practice, so work experience is really, really important. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the course, you'll be able to put together your own research and opportunities application. So um, yeah, that'll be really useful to you when applying to university or to a job. The second unit is academic skills. So you'll be exploring specific styles of academic writing um, and you'll be able to understand how to use key resources to facilitate your own learning. So. This would include identifying credible resources and how to extract the important information from that to aid your assignment. So platforms such as Wikipedia wouldn't be considered credible, but going on to Google Scholar or into a library and taking a physical book and extracting information from there would be a credible resource. And you'll also be looking at Harvard referencing style. So this is the most widely used style of referencing and it's what you are most likely going to be using at university. So not only will you be learning about it, you'll be putting it into practice when doing your own assignments. So that's a really important skill to have. So the next thing graded unit is personal development and learning skills. So you'll be looking at your own personal learning style, identifying what's the best way that you learn, the best style for you to absorb information. Um, that will also include looking at your own personal development, so where you want to progress into, reflecting on where you've come from and how you got there. Um, it's really important to understand your own learning style, so um, this is a really good unit. And the final and graded unit is maths, so it's only a basic maths course. As we said in the last video, that can be a bit daunting to some people who aren't particularly um, aligned to maths, but um, you'll be looking at basic math, so fractions, statistics, percentages, and also financial calculations. So it can actually be broadly used in your own personal life as well as completing this unit. So now we'll be looking at the graded units, which are specific to the health pathway. So there's five units in total, and they're graded at a past merit distinction. So the first one is human biology. So you'll be understanding characteristics of the human body. So this can include human cells and tissues, the digestive system, looking at blood circulation. We'll also be looking at homeostasis, which is the process of a living organism maintaining stability whilst their external environment changes. So this is a really interesting unit for any of those that are aligned to human biology. It's an extension to courses you may have previously done, like GCSE biology, or you may have even done an A-level in biology. So um, it's giving you your basics and it's a really interesting first graded unit. So the next graded unit is disease and human immune response. So a slight extension onto human biology, but it's a little bit more specific to disease. So you're looking at factors that cause disease and their effects on the human body. Uh, looking at genetic factors, so you could have a degenerative um, gene within your family that makes you more susceptible to disease. Um, looking at environmental factors in human health, so 
if people, for example, live in rural areas, the countryside, they're more likely to be healthier than someone that might be living in a city. And you're also looking at the human immune system. So this includes the body's natural defences against disease as well. So again, another really, really interesting braided unit. The next braided unit is psychology. So this was discussed in the public services video we did as well. So the premise of the unit is exactly the same, but it's gonna be more specific to health psychology. So you're looking at the scientific nature of psychology, different psychological perspectives. So you're looking at the work of prominent psychologists, which will also relate back to academic skills, being able to extract information from them. So all of your units really do intertwine and they do flow nicely into each other. So you're learning skills that are really valuable. And you'll also be looking at ethical issues of scientific investigation. So we mentioned this in the last video, uh, using humans and animals has their ethical considerations. So it's important that you get into the habit of considering that because further down in your unit, for your last unit, you will be conducting an investigation. So you need to show that you conducted that ethical side of it as well. You've got your consent forms from people. Uh, so again, a really important unit. So the fourth braided unit is value-based healthcare. So this is looking at the fundamental principles of healthcare. So um, the ethical values are really, really important when you're in the healthcare sector. You've got a um, duty of care towards people. So there are rules and regulations that you need to abide by when working in these healthcare sectors. So you're looking at values of care, applying them into a health setting. For example, um, DBS checks when you're working with children. Uh, working with older people would have a different set of rules so it's again an interesting unit to look at and you're looking at professional behaviours in healthcare also so there will be a blanket set of behaviours that need to be applied across the whole healthcare sector but there will be tweaks slightly depending on the people you're working with for example people with learning disabilities, etc. So again, another interesting unit. To repeat myself, another <laughs> interesting unit. So the final unit for your course is health promotion. So this is the conclusion to your whole diploma. So in this one, you will be conducting your own investigation based on the knowledge you've learned throughout the course and you can tailor it to something that you're specifically interested in. So this is great practice for university, depending on the course that you go on to, you may be asked to do a dissertation. So this is perfect practice, you'll be putting your Harvard referencing into practice, and you'll be putting your academic style of writing into practice, so it's great. Specifically, you're looking at definitions of health, factors influencing concepts of health and illness, and understanding the, the impacts of demographics and social change. So again, this is a really good unit to kind of conclude everything yeah. on. I think we said in the last video as well, like this unit is so interesting and really like prepares you for university because a lot of the kind of briefs and assignments for university are quite self-led mm. and you kind of tailor them to what you want to do. And also there's a lot of different careers, uh, degrees, you, sorry, you can go on to after this course so you can really tailor it to yeah. the pathway you want to do. Exactly. So I think it prepares you so well for like exactly. your next steps like, yeah. at the end of the course. And picking something you're interested in as well, you're going to want to write about it, yeah. learn about it. So it's great that you have that independence as well to pick your own topic. Thank you, Kate, for running through all those units. That was really detailed and interesting. Um, if you head over to our next video, we're going to be talking all about how access to HE prepares you for university and also the different degrees that you can go on to after the access to HE health course. So we will see you over there. Bye.